two-man zero cycle. Subscribe! Hey guys, it's Bukiyo Brev, and today we are going to be taking a look at our Akali Rapa Showcase for the one versus $2,000. This lineup, which we will have Harmony MC, Gallagher, as well as Run May, right? Which is basically our most accessible and most free play friendly option, right? Without further ado, let's get into today's content. As usual, just to let everybody know again and again and again, uh, you know, uh, last time we showed the oh my god, E6 Run May kill uh it, this is to serve as a benchmark right it is not really to see what damage or how fast we're clearing the team it is just to see what kind of idolance can we get a lot of value from specifically for rapper i wish i could say e6 pella is a substitute for e6 from me uh unfortunately she is not right pella is not a substitute uh i I don't know. I don't know who, who started this this lie that just said that like, Pella is a substitute for Rami. It is just kind of crazy. Uh, so we are going to be going ahead with this. Just keep in mind that we are going to be measuring the performance from E0 all the way up to E6. And you can kind of see for yourself if it's going to be worth any of the items. Generally speaking, getting the signature weapon is going to be of the utmost priority, right? Getting this signature weapon is going to be of the utmost priority. Only after getting the S1 can you consider getting this E1. And I believe that personally, E1 is a very, very nice stopping point for e2 specifically this is more for your single target because your single target is the one that you only main aim that the main dude so all of it stacks up right so this is more for your single target it will make your damage go up by quite a lot roughly 20 percent final damage increase especially if you get the s1 the first comparison i am just gonna be showing you guys what it looks like without her signature weapon and I'm gonna be showing this with a Jing Yuan's S5 signature weapon. As you guys know by now, for every edition light coins, we really don't have any close substitutes because none of our five star limited or even hard star, none of these are really there for you to get break effect. And specifically for our build, we are already at 3.3k attack which means that the additional attack that we were to gain from her dust light cone it is also not that useful because we don't need this attack whatsoever so the pretty much good enough substitute if you don't run signature light cone is either gonna be the uh charmony all right the four star gacha light cone or uh, or technically you can run this for a little bit more speed or this three star light cone known as pass key all right just for a little bit more energy we Okay, so chilling. We are just gonna pull this. Just pop this. Uh, Gallagher, Gallagher, you wanna you wanna break this bitch for me? Very nice. Okay, so you can see that this is of course we are running run me without her signature light cone as well. Uh. And we are running Harmony Troll Blaze with Dungeons Dungeons and Gallagher with the classic Light Cone, right? So you can see that without the signature weapon, you are not able to get a turn one ultimate. But you can fix this if you were to swap to an energy regeneration light cone. This is specifically for a case if, if you don't run energy regeneration light cone, uh, what does it look like, right? So once again, her Ultima works as like an extra turn. So the moment you get this, she instantly flies up. Ooh. So now you can use this three times, yeah? So this is a damage for our E0 and technically with the S5 Jing Yuan Light Code. 1.2 million. But it is with the e6 from me right this is definitely not what you will see if you are running a normal setup uh we're just gonna go in. okay that they are absolutely zero damage which is completely fine damn it's a lot of damage <laughs> And you can see we are already at maximum energy 
at the end of our three enhanced basic attacks. Which is why I personally feel it is not that significant to get a energy regeneration rope unless you want that turn one ultimate specifically for that setup. She doesn't really face the energy issues if you complete these two criterias, which is the enemies get killed or they have exo toughness. And if in the future, we have a unit that can implant exo toughness. You shouldn't really face that much energy regeneration problems with wrap up, right? So this is going to be the final hit. And she's going to be able to cast this in to instantly get an extra turn. We still want to ideally hit the guy in the middle because even though this guy's not weak, we want to hit all three targets. We're going to get hit here. We don't have enough speed, unfortunately, because we don't have the signature light cones action value advance. Yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, it just it is what it is. Uh, this will definitely be the kill. Though. Okay, so basically missing by that little bit of speed. Her damage output is not exactly from how much damage she can do. Because we are already at 161 speed, by the way. It is just specifically squeezing that action value enough to hit it one more time, and you'll get the damage required. Damage is not that part of a concern, especially if you got the force out alternative, or even if you if you run the um any of the break effect things, right? So running this with the signature light cone is where you will feel the rotation feels a lot smoother. Because this allows us to turn one ultimate. We get another 60% break effect. And this ability right here, 50% action value advance after two basic attacks. It basically translates to roughly 33% speed. Yep. So now we have the turn one ultimate. Just pop this and get an extra turn here. Look at that amount of energy we gained. That was like 70-ish energy, by the way. From that single hit, it was like almost 70-ish energy. So, very, very poggy woggies. Uh, popping is up, and we are basically already a more or less full energy. One thing to note is, because we killed that guy, with our second enhanced basic, we couldn't get the action value. It was technically wasted because we just went to the next wave. So if you get the action value advance for the second basic and you go to the next wave, you basically didn't get any action value advance. All right, so just keep in mind, kind of. Uh, we'll just do the normal stuff here. And we can just squeeze out one more extra turn. Okay. To imagine she gets slapped. If she gets slapped, that that would have been so fucking bad. <laughs> Ah, uh, but she did it right. Okay, but anyways, now we are very, very comfortable in the range for the additional thing because of the thingy. So we're just gonna do whatever the hell we're gonna do here. This is chilling. Then we get one more turn out. Just in time for the extra action, which basically wraps up this. Ooh, so every single time you get off the ultimate, there is going to be one extra turn, right? So you can kind of see that the difference of having or not having the ultimate, I wouldn't really say it's properly shown in the memory of chaos, just because of the fact that the exo toughness skews the result a little bit. If we do have exo toughness as a permanent feature, I think Rappa has a, a pretty considerable uh, value especially when you can kind of scale this up with this 50% action value advance, right? I personally think that this Lycon benefits her by quite a bit. Also, diabolical art, by the way. She is honestly pretty big. 
Okay, E one time. Return is the blah, 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 blah. Ultimate damage ignores 50% of target defense. This is not the main thing. The main thing is more about the 20 energy. If you do not have this and you're in an environment where it's not favoring you in terms of exo toughness, you will definitely encounter energy issues with Rappa. Either you fix this with an energy regeneration rope, which means you lose 15% of your final damage, or you continue on with the break effect rope and then you use your skill, which will affect your rotation by a little bit. 15% defense ignore, frankly speaking, it will scale very well if you have a lot of defense down. So if you're in the case where you're running a full free-to-play team, Harmony Trailblazer, Ezio, Rame, and Gettiger, this 15% defense down honestly doesn't change too much. All right, it really starts to pop off if you get the E1 Rame, the E1 Lingsha, and if in the future we have a Harmony Trailblazer requirement that can also apply defense down, then this E1 will have a lot, a lot of value, right? So this is more for considering vertical investment. You want to scale this up onwards to a, like 100% ignore defense. Um, it's going to be quite nice. The main thing here for players that are not thinking about the 50% defense ignore stacking, it's going to be the 20 energy to make your rotation feel smoother while running a break effect rope, right? Okay, man, all this is without Rame Cycle, by the way. There are no Rame right now, right? So it's very, very... Chilling runs. So this is gonna be E1's additional damage. I'm not sure if anyone to know. Chat, does anyone remember how much damage this was? 1.4. Alright. The last hit will be the biggest hit. Because the super break damage, it only kicks in at the last prop. So this first two, you might not see too much, but the last prop is the one where it combines and calculates all of the super break damage. Alright, so. 1.64 million. Instantly placing us to wave two. And now we get the additional action value advance, which otherwise would have been wasted because just now we had to use one more enhanced basic attack. Do you guys remember? For our E0S1, we had to use one more enhanced basic attack. And that made us waste well, a very valuable aspect of the Central Icon, which is the 50%. But now you can actually apply this 50% AV to this round because you killed the previous round in a single enhanced basic. Now I can just do whatever it is. And then we just we just, we just just keep it to as per normal. So we get DDD, just to squeeze out a little bit more AV. So this is 100% overkill here, but we're just gonna go for it. 1.7 million, and we instantly get another turn again. This is always independent of the action value, so you don't really need to be mindful of what action value I have. You're always gonna be guaranteed an extra turn here, right? So very, very simple. Just use it whenever you have it up, basically. That was zero damage because nobody was broken, so it is what it is. Uh, if she sleeps, wrap up herself. Alright, we're chilling. I wonder if this is enough to kill them. Because our Harmony MC got slapped, which means we lost the Harmony MC damage. But maybe the E1 is enough to get us through. So we just need one more attack. Oh, it's not quite enough. Okay, we had the Harmony MC break there. That, that would have 100% been the run. But boom, 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 boom. I read that right. So basically, we deal around 240k extra damage if you get the E1. And this is without the defense down stacking from the E1 Lingsha. Uh, okay, anyways, E2. This is specifically for the single target. So originally, your toughness reduction is 10. You're now dealing a toughness reduction of 15. An interesting thing to know about this is, with this E2 plus Run Maze Witness Break Efficiency, you can one tap a mob because they the mob have 30 Witness uh, Toughness Bar. So let's just kind of see what, what we're looking at over here and see if you guys can feel the, the difference of this real quick. Same shit. Oh wait, what are Oh shit. Okay, bro killed one of the things. So that might skew the results a little bit. Because one of the things died. Okay, what I just Ooh, it is now only four targets. So... Yeah. The idea I feel like this item 2 is not that... It's not, it, it changes something. It doesn't change everything. The rotation definitely changed. So it actually cuts yeah. it. 
Now our rotation is a little bit different. The bro legit just uh, not die for that one, one prop over there. You know what I said? <laughs> okay, the rest is just the same. The rest is just the same. So we break this. Squeeze him for one more. Oh, we don't even need an ultimate anymore. To be fair, the, 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 that wave one definitely got fucked a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be E2. I would say that E1 is gonna be a more impactful Eidolon compared to E2. Uh, but it's gonna be less impactful compared to this Sinister Lycon one. Try on Hule, the enemy with no imaginary weakness. Thank you, Cheddar. You're so smart. This is not really measurable. Is basically 12% speed buff for entire team. So it, it can be quite good if you are someone that just gets cursed by relics and you can't hit your speed thresholds because this technically works if you run like a Firefly sustain. If you want to run Firefly, you can't hit your 155 speed. You could technically run an E4 wrap up and then your Firefly can, can reach the 155 speed to get the three, rather four actions on the very first wave, right? So you could choose to run that if you want to. It is applied to your entire team. Other than that, not too much of an issue. All right, cool. Uh, E5 also, E5 is technically less important than, than e, E2 because, sorry, E3, because of this talent. This talent is going to be the most uh, important part, right? E6, TLDR, a, b -b -b a b -b 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 billion damage. So we're just gonna go in E6 S1 and just kind of see what we have over here. Maybe we stay relatable and we just basic. So that he doesn't kill anybody accidentally. <laughs> E6 Shrapa. I just noticed the AI is a little bit goofy. You can't just keep pressing spacebar. Because that was a pretty goofy targeting system. You want to ideally hit this so that it breaks everybody, right? Take a little mental note. If there are multiple enemies, you want to adjust this so that you break enemy. A little bit goofy, a little bit goofy. And final hit. 1.7 million. 1.7 million. Oh, we're just gonna go in right here. We get the extra action here. Okay. This changes nothing. Okay. Is this, is this character gonna fucking die before I even do anything? Okay. 1% HP. Thank you. Thank you so much, thank you so much. You're very, very nice. You're very, very good. Yep. It's fine, guys. It doesn't really change much. Alright, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. It's just... In the 80s, what is this? So, yeah. The thing that I wanted to show you guys is not exactly this because, you know, I wanted to show you guys this. Two men for memory of Chaos 12. This is the, this is the interesting thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
呀呀呀呀呀呀呀！优美的姿势。Honestly, we can just skill again, again, right? Like, it literally makes no difference. To be fair, <laughs> this, this, this literally does nothing. Don't sleep her. Don't sleep her. Fantastic. So we have one more, yeah. Okay. We have one more. We have one more. Before we wrap up this video, we'll just do on a a full unreadable team. Uh, Firefly could never, by the way, uh, cause Firefly is basically permanently tied to your Harmony Troll Blazer, and she also permanently needs run me. Rapa is a woman that don't need no man. All right, peep this shit. Last showcase, E6 S5. <laughs> The Galaxy Ranger. Lie. So, a pretty fun thing is if you have a pocket trick shot, you can squeeze it in and break this butter bitch. So, it's basically like how Pella works. Except you can do it with Rare Bar as well. Budo and Rare Bar. So now you have double pocket trick shot. Alright. Which means you can break it twice. And you just instantly get 3 steps. Bada boom! And there's bing, bam, and boom. Very nice. So now we have this. That was with no Harmony Troll Razor Ultimate, no Rame, no nothing by the way. That was absolutely just nothing there. So let's get this. Let's get this in. I'm a little bit afraid that uh, bro is just gonna steal the thunder. Okay. I think she still she still put her weight. Right, I feel like for the most part she still put her weight. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Imagine if he just kills them right here. Okay, that was a... I don't know. Uh, I think... Uh, yep, at this point, there's just not enough HP to go around to, to, to feature both Rep and Buddha Sim. So, yeah, that is gonna be the end of the 1 versus 2000 um, E0, S0, all the way to E6, S5 testing. TLDR, get the Sinister Light Cone. If you want, you can get the Idolon 1. Everything else is just kind of the extra. Don't really change too much, right? World of the Day is gonna be a big. Join Twitch, join Twitch, join Discord, join TikTok, and join Twitter. All the best for Gacha Pusan. See you guys next time. Take care.